What's up? It me, Jim. I do the walk in the circle. I say that it me, Slippery Jim, mate. I got 144 in, 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 igneous geodes. Um, they're like 10 C each, and if you right-click them, they turn into other things. Ones that turn, ones that put a tree onto a unique item, that's a, removes a tree from a non-unique item, that's not the right one. There's two that you can hit on the first line of the explicit, and the implicit is always the same. But, uh, the one that puts a tree onto a unique item is 10 C at the cheapest, and the geodes themselves are 10 C at the cheapest, so what's the point of IDing them? Well, I really just want to see what the odds of each thing is and there's are there are things it's more like the other the, the modifiers halfway down like unique crucible monsters have a 25 percent chance to drop a unique melee weapon the one that i've had the best luck with inside crucible is the one that's like monsters have a chance to drop an item that already has a tree on it as long as i set my filter down to actually see items with trees i found a bunch of stuff like a 30 regal selling one one that gave me like 40 awakened sectants one that gave me like 20 chaos haven't found a divine one yet but hey that'd be the nice golden ticket. Anyway, I'm going to right-click on all these things, and then I'm going to make a spreadsheet uh, of all the stuff that I got. Basically, like, the numbers of add a tree to an uncorrupted and remove a tree from a non-unique, and there's also, like, like, there's a chance that just won't chop at all, so I just want to see what the odds on that stuff is. It's probably, like, even split one in three, right? One in three of each, maybe? Anyway, just skip to the spreadsheet if that's all you care about. I'll also, um... Probably uh, do the thing where I like go through manually without uh, having it on footage and uh, pull out all the items that seem relatively interesting. But as far as I can tell, there's only you can only make money because the geodes cost 10c, and the cheapest thing, the cheapest map is 10c. So if anything, it's only a positive. If that makes sense. Sure, it's a lot of trading though. That's yeah, it's a lot of trading. Okay, I'll be right back. Got a mosquito bite on my hand that I, I got bit seven days ago, and it's gone down and ra raised back up again repeatedly. I feel I must be like sick or something. Anyway, um, the numbers don't really make too much sense, but the total of these on the first line implicit ones adds up to 144. These don't add up because these are the ones underneath that are like rare and unique crucible items have a 40% chance to drop a melee weapon. Um, the one where its melee weapon can also be, like, armor and shield and, like, range, but I haven't specified those because it's too hard to search, and all I care about is just any crucible that can drop an item that is a tree, because you, you do these ones to get stuff that has, like, maybe divines in them or something. I'm sure there's ones that are like, oh, it could, uh, like, it could, like, corrupt items that you combined. Oh, man, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking. I don't care. I could, no, how do I, is there a way that I can, like, copy all of these and paste them? Yes, there is. I can paste the descriptor mods of all of these if there's some really crazy data nerd. I'll put it in this spreadsheet. It'll just be a line of every single item, like, cons control C, like this, control C, and then like this, and then paste. I'll put all of this in this spreadsheet for every single item. For anyone who cares about that. I don't care about that. This is all I care about. Um, so it was how many? 50? 50 out of... 1 in 3? 1 in 3 gave... 1 in 3? That's pretty good for stuff that's just gonna spit out stuff that has crucible trees. Like, it's easier to run these maps than it is to manually crucible things if I'm hunting stuff that gives me divine orbs. Not that you should do this to get the divine orb thing. I don't know, this seems like the, the end game. oh my god, the end game content of a league mechanic is better than the content in a map? Who could have seen this coming? I was gonna end it there, but no, uh, 31 of them drop extra div cards, one of them drops items that are fully linked, and also I think it has, uh, the fracture modifier in it. If it had the items drop fully socketed and the fully linked one, that'd be pretty cool, but it doesn't, but you could get that combo. 15 of them drop extra ore, but it was out of 144, you gotta remember, not out of that. So I'm doing a really good solid by not um, sharing or saying, not putting percentages in so your brain can auto-fill the results. Okay. These numbers are way better. 36%, yep, 10%, that uh, makes sense. Yep, that's rare. Yep, yep, numbers. NUMBERS! I crave the numbers. Be sure to like and comment so the numbers can go up.
Fuck. What the hell am I doing?